are you taking care of your brain? Because if not, you had better be. Your brain is like the most important part of your body. That's where your mind lives. It's where you live. Your body is here to support your brain. And your brain is what allows you to be creative. So without good brain health and without good physical health, you can't be creative. You can't be productive. You're going to feel like horrible garbage. And it just it doesn't work out well. We all know that. So you got to take care of your brain. And that's today's message is taking care of your brain and working on good physical health, good mental health, and feeding your body and brain. Because those three things all come together to form sort of a perfect triad that help you stay in top shape and be the most productive you can. It allows you to think powerfully and be creative. So there's this vagus nerve that runs from between your brain and your gut. And that's why when you get these gut feelings about something, it's that nerve, it's talking to your brain. So in reality, your gut is a good ner central nervous system thinking place. So we want good gut health. You want to feed your body well, feed it lots of fresh vegetables, some fresh fruits, healthy foods, grass-fed if you eat meat, try to go for grass-fed if you can, oh, and organic or free range, you know, eat as clean and as healthy as you can. Watch that alcohol, really and truly watch the alcohol. And I know alcohol is so wonderful. That glass of wine every night is just so nice. But in reality, it's not. And it's the same with the sugar. Gotta watch the sugar. If you can get off of sugar, do it. I know it's like the hardest thing in the world because I finally got off of sugar be only because I was sick. I got the flu. I couldn't eat for three days. So it was really easy. It was like I went through the whole cold withdrawal while I wasn't feeling good and not eating anything. So that made that part easy. If something like that happens to you, take advantage of it. Run with it going, okay, I'm cleaning up my diet starting today. And if you do need to make dietary changes, do them slowly. Don't just say, I'm going cold turkey and throwing everything out, with the exception of sugar. I think sugar is so addictive and our bodies like it so much that it really, you should get off of sugar. And I, I, that's the one I'm an advocate for, cold turkey. Just cut it off, just deal with the couple of days of when you're like, oh my God, I really gotta have my sugar and give yourself a month. You're gonna get those cravings for at least a month. And it's, I've been months now and I still get the cravings every once in a while. I look at something, I go, oh, that would be good to eat. And then I'm like, no, I'm sugar free. So I know I, I walk around saying I am sugar free rather than I do not eat or I do not do this because our brain doesn't hear the do not. All it hears is the do eat sugar instead of I do not eat sugar. So start with be positive when you're talking to yourself. Positive self-talk is really, really important. It's good for good brain health. I am sugar-free. I am grain-free. Whatever it is that you need to be free of, say, I am free of whatever it is. And exercise. So we've got, we're going to eat well. We're going to feed our body enough protein. And you may be surprised at the amount of protein you need during the day. If you do any sort of workout, any sort of weightlifting, it's like, for me, sort of an average female, 5'5". Five five. I lift weights every other day. I do a lot of ab work and other works on alternate days. I do about 75 grams of protein a day. Some people say that's too high. Some people say it's too low. I find for me, that's my minimum intake. Some days it's more. It depends on what my workout's been. So eat your protein. You know, that's the key. Make sure you get enough protein. And, and the afternoon snack, you want that afternoon cappuccino and a pastry or something to get you going to five o'clock, have a protein hit. That's, that's good brain health. Keep that brain, keep the protein levels up because that's a better type of fuel for your body than straight sugar. So the next thing is exercise. You need to exercise. You need to get up and move around all during the day. If you work at a desk job, make sure you are getting up and walking around at least every hour. 
And if you get those morning breaks and afternoon breaks and lunchtime, walk. My husband has actually started going outside during his 15 minute morning break and afternoon break and he walks around his building or he'll walk up the block and back and forth. And, and you know, he was like, well, why should the smokers be the only one who go outside? He's like, I'm gonna go outside and walk around. Unless the weather's really cruddy, he's out every day. And I'm so proud of him. It's like, yeah, because he sits at a desk all day. Me, I'm on my feet all day. But what I have to remember is to one, sit for a little bit, and the other is to walk around because I tend to stand. I stand behind the cash wrap, especially when I'm really busy with customers. I'm like standing there ringing people up and answering questions, and I forget to move. So standing in one place can be just as bad as sitting in one place. So you need to remember to move your body. Our bodies are designed to be in constant motion all day long. And then we stop and we go to sleep and that's when we rest. So constant motion. So if you remember that, that you need motion regularly throughout the day, that's a good thing. Because the other thing about exercising is that it primes your brain for learning. So when you exercise, you're priming your brain to learn something new. And it also helps it ingrain in the brain and stay in there longer. They've done studies of like people who spend an hour on a treadmill and then go learn actually retain the information better, score better on testing afterwards, and they're also healthier. It's like, what better combo? The other thing is sleep. You need to make sure that you get sleep because without sleep, you know, it's just like driving drunk. You may as well just be drinking alcohol because you're driving impaired. If you're not getting at least your six to eight hours of sleep a night, you are impaired mentally and physically. And if you do HRV heart rate monitoring, it will tell you, your number will be so low. It's like, no, you shouldn't be working out because you're in the sympathetic nervous system. You really wanna be in the parasympathetic nervous system, which is when you're in, you're in the green zone and you're all focused and, and it's easy. Everything you get in that flow state of when you're being productive and creative. And if you don't sleep, you're not gonna get there. So you need to sleep. You need to feed your body right with the right kind of protein and other essential foods to make it to make your body in balance and function right. And mental health. If you are around people who are so negative that if they drag you down, you need to get them out of your life if you can. If not, limit your exposure to them. And that's super hard when it's your partner or your spouse or even a coworker. Um, you know, toxic coworkers, you're gonna have to like try to avoid them. And maybe you have to find a new job. But trying to eliminate the toxic people in your life, the drainers, the people who are sucking the life force out of you is super, super critical because that is a drain on your life force energy and, and, it, and it disrupts your personal ecosystem. And you need that ecosystem to be healthy and functioning. So. You want people who propel you, who bring you up, who motivate you. Those are the people you need in your life. And utilize me. I'm here once a week on, on YouTube with you. And I've got a daily podcast. Grab those. Help them keep you. Use me to help you stay up and motivated. That's what I'm here for. So thank you. I will see you next week. I'm Lee Kellogg. Reach me at lee at leekellogg.com. And or leave a comment below on YouTube. And I will respond. Bye.